Erosion along the shores in Port Dover are putting 73 locations at risk, with 30 of those spots considered critical. Now, Norfolk County is looking to find solutions to mitigate the erosion and protect the shoreline along Lake Erie. Simone Gavros has more. The eroding shoreline in Norfolk County has residents in the area concerned. That tree at the bottom was three quarters of the way up the hill. Yeah. And as you see now, it's at the bottom. Well, I figure give us a couple years and we could be lakeside. The county identified 73 parcels of publicly owned property as sites of concern, with 30 of those considered more critical and needing immediate investigation. The types of locations include vacant lots, beach access, parkland, road allowances, and municipal infrastructure in areas like Port Dover and Port Rowan. My family and I just moved in about two years ago now, and when we moved in, I was able to sit on the other side of this post, legs fully stretched out and enjoy the lake views. But uh, as you can see, within two years, it's, it's cut back probably at least seven or eight feet pretty quickly. Just a block over, Gordon Cooper says he installed his own rock wall 12 years ago to prevent his land from eroding after he noticed his property going down. I spent my own money fixing it up so it wouldn't erode because if I didn't do that, it would be back, be back to the front of my house. Cooper says he's hoping the county will install a wall on their portion of the land to help mitigate the erosion. It's gradually coming back and eventually it's going to be to the road. In the last three or four years, it's come back at least 40, 50 feet. It's not unsolvable, it just needs to be addressed. Andrew Grice with Norfolk County says this is a historical issue, but it's been more prevalent in the last couple years. Climate change is a big driver for us in, in, in us taking these next steps. Um, we have seen increased lake levels uh, in the last number of years. In addition to that, uh, we're seeing more intense storms and they can be very localized and those large wave impacts can start eroding some of our shorelines. Grice says solutions can range from minor maintenance to a change in operations at that location. As for next steps, the county plans to have a coastal engineer assess the areas of concern over the summer to ensure any recommendations required are built into the budget process in the fall. Simone Gavros, CHCH News, Port Dover.